Boss fight, class system, a demo, better visuals, a hometown, all in this video, I hope you enjoy. If you're new here, Eye of the Portal is an action roguelike game where you seek revenge on the Eye of the Forest using the mysterious portals to navigate to the end. My goal for the boss was to make something challenging but not annoying, but before we can program the boss we need to make the visuals for it. And here are the visuals for the boss, the boss is split up into different parts so it's much easier to animate. For example, when animating I can simply move the different components of the boss to make a very appealing animation. And now for the attacks, the boss will use his fist to either punch you directly or punch the ground near you. Here is the first attack, the boss will slam both his fists to the ground and damage the whole of the middle area of the map. In the second one, the boss will swing his fist back and forth across the map, damaging anything that crosses its path. The third attack is similar to the first, however it attacks with two fists rather than one fist. And that's pretty much it for the boss fight, I think I will probably go back over it in the future and improve it, but for now it gets the job done. The class system has to be my favourite addition since the last video, it adds so much variety to the game, so let's get into it. Currently there are four different classes in my game, each of them catering to a unique playstyle. The bowsman has two bows, one which shoots fast and another which shoots two shots at once. This is a class for people who want range with a fair amount of health. The tank does the opposite, it has high health but only has two weak swords. The duelist is the basic character who only has one fairly decent sword and one fairly decent bow, and he has 20 health. The assassin is for experienced players who want extremely high damage output but almost half the health of the duelist. As far as the selection screen goes, it simply has the stats of each class and a select button. You'll be brought to this page as soon as you select start game for the first time. And on the topic of UI, I've finally made a main menu for the game. It's nothing special, just a few buttons and settings for the player. For the settings, there is just volume sliders and an easy mode button. You also might have noticed that in the top right corner, there is finally a logo and name for the game. The name I went with is Eye of the Portal because there is a strong theme of mystical portals and the main enemy is the Eye of the Forest, so I kind of merged them together to get this name. The town is a new addition to my game. The town will be the first area of the game and it's where the tutorial is located. There are loads of signs leading to the tutorial in an attempt to make sure the player will not get lost. Also there will be some NPCs and villages in the town at a later date, but for now there is only this guy. He will sell you something, I'm not quite sure yet, but in the future you will buy important upgrades from him. As for the tutorial, it's nothing special, it will just teach you the basic mechanics of the game, which includes attacking with both weapons and dodging. At the end of the tutorial, you will have to fight your first wave of enemies. You might have noticed in the last clip that there is a new enemy. He is just the basic enemy of the game with a simple chaser player script attached to him. I just really added them to make the first area feel slightly more varied. Last video, the game looks like this. And now it looks like this, so how did I do it? Well, there is one answer which is post-processing. It really makes a whole world of a difference and without it, the game looks terrible. As you can see on screen, I'm flicking between with post-processing and without post-processing and you can just see the massive difference it makes. So now there is a playable demo of the game, but unfortunately this doesn't mean that you can play the game now but the reason I made the demo in the first place is because I submitted it to the BAFTA YGD game making competition. The demo itself shows the first area of the game and includes most of the things we have talked about in this devlog. Just to make things clear, this doesn't mean the whole game is for the YGD tournament, but I thought I might as well submit the demo to it. A smaller feature that I have added is now when you shoot at a wall, the bullet will be left stuck on the wall. I've also started making the soundtrack for the game, it's still a very early version but here is the first track of the game playing in the background now. I've now finally made an introduction to the game, where the game will kind of explain who's the main villain. I made a new weapon called the Dual Dagger which shoots really fast and has high attack power. I made an intro splash screen for the game. I added extra juice to the combat in the game, this comes in the form of all enemies flash white when hit, and they now leave a corpse on the ground behind them. Just these features alone make combat a hell of a lot more impactful. And that's about it for this video, if you did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video, bye.